This is Dakota News Now, your first alert station. Good evening, I'm Andrea Anderson. I'm Brian Allen. Since Israel's establishment 75 years ago, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in the last month has become the deadliest. That information from the Associated Press. In our top story here at 6, Beth Warden introduces us to a South Dakota rabbi connecting members of his community with those living in conflict areas and what he hopes to achieve with the dialogue. The visions of violence in the Middle East can be surreal to those of us who live in relative safety, but a local rabbi wants to bring the reality of war to South Dakotans. The human suffering, the tragedy that is befalling humanity at this time is something that we can't imagine. There are several Jewish communities in the state. Rabbi Mendel Alpirowitz is the voice of the Chabad Jewish Center of South Dakota. He is facilitating virtual conversations between survivors in Israel and those here at home. To share that story with our local community so that people in Sioux Falls could really hear what was happening on the ground from somebody who experienced it. On the call, Jasmine, who fled from the October 7th Israeli festival attack carried out by Hamas. About 15 miles away, she took shelter with strangers in their bunker. A grenade opened it up. She was taken captive and held in a home with 14 other Israelis. She was used as a human shield and the only one to survive. You don't tell me what he's going to do, but he started going with me while we are walking out the house and the garden, and we are going through to the to Israel police. And then I'm uh, in the hands of uh, the Israel police and he gets arrested. But all the others stay in this house. And then everybody was killed. Near the site of the festival, Elliot ushered his family into their bunker and told them not to open it, even if he was pleading for them to let him in. He saw snipers out his picture window. I froze, I was, I was in total shock. It wasn't comprehensible. My neighbor shot the, the first bullet and that actually triggered me to action. And I was and I just started shooting and fighting from my house. Um, the military reached us and uh, took that from there. The goal of these conversations is to share in other sufferings. And we live here very comfortably um, in the United States, thank God. But people around the world are really going through a difficult time right now. The Associated Press reports the Palestinian death toll of both fighters and civilians surpassed 10,000 on Monday. About 1,400 people in Israel have died, the majority civilians. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.